Hello guys, this is tutorials for beginners on how to create profiles in Tasker. Um, today we'll be looking into creating intelligent sleep profile. Please open your Tasker properties and in options disable beginners mode and also enable external access. I will be explaining step by step my workflow and how I create uh, the profiles on Tasker. You may need a pen and paper ready as we're gonna do initial planning there. This is entire workflow of what we're going to do and I'll be explaining line by line why such decisions have been made. So we're trying to create a sleep uh, time profile which would start at 2300 and end at 700. Uh, to make it smart, obviously we want that to trigger only when we are at home. So possibly people going out or people working night shifts would have their headsets available to them. We will be telling our phone to disable Wi-Fi connection, to disable sound, to dim our screen. We want to make sure that this is happening only when we are home. You might be also tempted to use Wi-Fi as a trigger to tell our phone that we are home. However, this is not a good idea and I'll be explaining that further because profiles in Taskers are often interconnected, it is also smart to share this information between profiles. Once profile conditions are met, Tasker will trigger all the tasks assigned to this only once. For example, disabling Wi-Fi as one of the tasks in our profile could be a trigger for another profile. We're gonna need a solution for that uh, loop. Uh, this means we are unable to use Wi-Fi as one of the conditions to establish whether we're home or not. This is where the variables come handy. We're gonna need following variables. Home, which will tell us whether we're home or not. Sleep, which will allow to share information whether the device is in a sleep time or not. And outdoor, which will describe the phone when it's not in the home location. For this profile, I'll be using binary variables. One will correspond for state yes, zero will correspond for state no. Now we can start playing with Tasker. So open your Tasker and we'll start creating profiles. Press and hold down home icon. This will allow you to add new folder. I'm gonna name it mine nighttime. However, you can name it wherever you like. Please open profiles and add a trigger time. Set the trigger to 2300 and end of 700. It is important for you to remember that at 2300 Tasker will run all the list of tasks assigned and also if you have an exit task it will run the exit task at 7 a.m. Once this is set you'll be asked to provide a profile and a task name. I'll give mine a name sleep plus. In a task list, I'll enter the follow information. Uh, Wi-Fi off, sound off. I'm gonna set my screen to very minimum value. Because you want to use exactly the same task on exit with opposite values, I'll show you a small trick how to do so. Go to tasks and select by holding down the sleep plus profile. Now go to options and clone it. Change the name to minus. The symbols plus and minus just indication whether it's an entry or exit task. Now edit the newly created task and set the values to the opposite ones. I've noticed I made a small mistake and I needed to correct the uh, silent mode value to on. Once you've completed this, 
Go to Profiles, click on the task list and hold it. Add Exit Task and assign newly created task list. We can also rename our profile. By holding down the profile, just select a capital letter A and rename it. My name is Sleep Time. This profile is available on many phones, then you can set the sleep time or quiet hours and it's nothing special, but now we're gonna make it smart. Let's start with sharing the information that devices are asleep. Please go to your task, select sleep plus, and we're gonna add a variable. The variable, we're gonna set it to sleep and we're gonna set the value of one, which means the device it is in a sleep mode. We're gonna do exactly opposite thing to the sleep minus. When we're gonna enter the sleep minus, add set variable, and we're gonna pick the variable we created and set it to value zero. Now we need something to tell us when we are home. It's good to switch folder, add new state. And in the state, Wi-Fi connected. Search for your Wi-Fi and add it there. This means whenever you connect it, we're gonna trigger a list of tasks. Create new task list. I'm gonna name it mine. Home V for variable. This means when I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I want my phone to set the variable home to 1. Note that I'm not adding an exit task because this being disconnected because being disconnected from Wi-Fi would mean I would no longer be present at home. I'm gonna name my profile Wi-Fi Home. Now I need something to decide when this profile can be enabled. So I'm gonna use the cell tower near feature with searches for near cells and can tell whether you are present in a proximity on a specific cell. That's gonna be my trigger. I'm gonna add new task, and this task will tell you when my Wi-Fi can be enabled. In a task list, I'll simply enable Wi-Fi. This will happen only when I'm near home. So you're gonna name it the near home. Remember, you might be required to scan your cells in all the rooms in your house as you can get different towers coverage in your house. Now, since we've got a profile for near home, we're gonna create one for when we not near home. I'm gonna scan for the same tower and select invert to tell my phone that I want to trigger a task when I'm not near this tower. I'm going to assign a new task and I'm going to name it Outdoor. I want to add new variable which is Outdoor and set it to 1. This means I'll tell my phone that I'm not at home location. I'm going also to re-enable the profile to not near home. Now the last thing. We need to tell our phone that we actually left home. And the easiest way to do it is simply manipulate the variables we're gonna create a profile when variable will be our input, our trigger. We're gonna use variable outdoor and we're gonna tell our phone when we are outdoor, 
we are definitely not at home. This means as soon as our outdoor variable will change to 1, it will trigger change of our home variable to 0. That way we can tell now when we are outside. To complete our profile, switch to nighttime folder and to profiles, we're gonna add another trigger. We want our sleep time to activate only when we are home. So we're gonna use our variable home and set the value of it to 1. For entire tutorial, we've been using state triggers. This means that as long as the device in a certain state, the trigger will occur and it will trigger the task list. If you have any questions about this tutorial, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and good luck with your creations.